Welcome back to Chips and Tricks. HSS, Solid Carbide or PCD. Behind these nice abbreviations are three cutting materials that form the primary component of your milling cutter. I will now explain which cutting material is best suited to your application. HSS stands for High Speed Steel. This is a high alloy tool steel that scores highly with its high degree of toughness. This cutting material is also very resistant to fluctuating forces. That's why you can easily use an HSS milling cutter on older machines or under unstable conditions. Another advantage of HSS milling cutters, they are more cost effective compared to solid carbide and PCD milling cutters. However, as HSS milling cutters unfortunately only achieve low machining speeds and short tool life they are not so well suited for large-scale production. But they are great for small series or prototype construction. By the way, when machining difficult to cut materials, you should opt for an HSS EPM milling cutter. This cutting material differs from conventional high-speed steel in that the manufacturing process is different, meaning it offers even better toughness and wear resistance. The cutting material HSS EPM closes the gap between HSS and solid carbide. On the one hand, solid carbide milling cutters impress with shorter machining times as they enable you to achieve higher feed rates and cutting speeds. In addition, solid carbide milling cutters are significantly more wear resistant. This means that you not only cut faster, but also for longer. Although solid carbide milling cutters are more expensive than HSS milling cutters, they are very economical. They are used on modern CNC machines and are particularly suitable for serious production. But beware, if your machinery is unstable, you should not use a solid carbide milling cutter. HSS milling cutters are more suitable here, as the cutting material is tougher and can compensate vibrations better than solid carbide. Hard, harder, PCD. Let's take a look at the last cutting material for today. Did you know that PCD stands for polycrystalline diamond? This cutting material is used when particularly powerful milling cutters are called for. PCD milling cutters are generally only used for high volume production. This allows you to achieve extremely high processing speeds and even beat the machining volume of solid carbide tools. PCD tools are also unbeatable in terms of tool life. However, these advantages are reflected in your bank balance. PCD tools are very expensive. They are also only suitable for non-ferrous metals and abrasive non-metals, such as fiber reinforced plastics. You should also pay particular attention to stable clamping when using PCD milling cutters. Otherwise, there is a risk of vibration causing the grains in the polycrystalline diamonds to break out. My chip tip for you, do not scrimp on the cutting material if you are dealing with large quantities.